What's up guys, Technicals here. We're back with another semi-beginner video. Today we're taking a look at a GPU mining rig. We're gonna show some love to our GPU department. If you saw my farm tour video, you know that I'm pretty light on GPUs. Most miners in the space are heavier on GPUs more so than they are on anything else. I'm gonna go over some of the details, why I chose these cards, why I chose this case, how I'm gonna run it, what I'm gonna use it for. If you operate one of these and you do things a little differently, I'd love to know in the comments below. On the Technicals, let's get into it. All right, so firstly, the case, what we're gonna be putting it in. This is an OctaMiner. These weren't a thing back when I was mining at the big farm, but they are purpose-built for GPU mining rigs. They're a little pricey if you buy them new, but I bought this one used on eBay. It was about $500 and some change. It's an X12 Ultra, and it came with two 1400 watt power supplies. If you're setting up a GPU mining rig of your own, 500 bucks might seem like a lot for a case, but I like this a lot because it self-contains everything. It's got high-powered fans that push all the heat out. You're not worried about your rigs sitting out in the open air where you could walk by them one day and accidentally nick a wire or a bug could fly right into it. Well, you know, a bug could fly into this, but at least they have these little fan drills here to catch the bugs first. The only bugaboo about buying this used one is that it didn't come with the badges. I had to 3D print this, so uh, this is a cock to miner now. Next up, 4070s. Why did I decide on 4070s? Well, there's some great content out there from fellow cryptocurrency YouTubers. See links in the description below. I did a lot of research on this. I decided on 4070s for a few different reasons. Uh, I've in the past not been as concerned with efficiency. I've really just been concerned with raw power. However, now that I have this 100 amp rule, I do have to be concerned with efficiency. And I'm also concerned with future-proofing. I wanted to get a 40 series card uh, to somewhat future-proof myself because if I got into a 30 series, then I'm two generations behind. When the 5000s hit, hash rates go up and then I'd be having to sell them quicker. So while this isn't the most powerful card in the 40 series line, um, price versus performance versus efficiency, uh, I felt that this was the best buy. Now, I could have paid $50 more per card to get 4070 supers, but ultimately I decided that it wasn't worth the extra money and I'm going for 4070s. All right, let's scratch up our table and get started. For this, I run on Hive OS because Hive OS and Octomiters go together like peas and carrots. I went ahead and flashed a copy of Hive OS onto an SSD and connected it here so that's gonna be up and running as soon as we get on board. Additionally, the power supplies came with the OctaMiner. Make sure that yours do, do as well, or at least when you buy the server power supplies for this, that they fit. And these Gigabyte 4070s, I'm not a fan of Gigabyte cards personally, but the price was right. These Gigabyte fans, you know, they've given me trouble in the past, but maybe they've changed in the past six years. first five cards in and we have a second uh the another card coming today but i didn't want to get too many because i i kind of thought uh that i'm yeah i'm not going to be able to fit 12 gpus in here because the spacing is just too tight so clear easily we could fit another two in here uh but what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put my 3080 ti in here as the final card because the other two cards really aren't great for GPU mining. I think I'm gonna give one away and maybe use the other one as like a Chia Farmer or something like that. And what I could get for them, uh, it's not worth my time to sell a GPU on Facebook Marketplace for $100, $150. It's just not worth it. Uh, but this card, the 3080 Ti, is a pretty powerful card, um, but I'm not sure I really wanna sell it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in here on the last position, but that, entails me removing the fan because this GPU is just way too long for it to fit. So I'm gonna to have to put this one fan on the outside of the case. So we're all set up. We moved this fan here to the outside, which gave us ample room to mount the 3080 Ti, leaving us one space for the other card that's coming today. Right, so we got the last card in, six 4070s, and we're leaving this 3080 Ti in here. I've got it slotted in the central position because I needed it to have, I wanted it to have the lowest number uh, slot position, so that way when it appears in Hive OS, it's at the very bottom of the list. Uh, for me to have it at the very top of the list, I'd have to put it in slot 
zero. And if I put it in slot zero, then the ordering would not have allowed for me to put the rest of the 4070. So instead of on the top, 3080 Ti is going to be at the bottom. Why am I keeping the 3080 Ti? Well, just for some added juice because it's pulling a much higher hash rate, pulling a lot more power, but I got plenty of headroom to run it. Fills out the rig nicely. I don't really have another purpose for the 3080 Ti, and I'm not really interested in selling it. So I'm going to hang on to it, keep it in the rig, give it a little more oomph. Uh, so we're all set up, cables managed, fans are all on the outside just to give me more room here. I'm also working on this here. I designed a little shroud extension for the OctaMiner. We'll see if that works out later. But for right now, I wanna pop the lid on this thing, get it out into the building, get it configured, and get back to hashing. So we've got the OctaMiner out here in the building. It's been working great. I went ahead and 3D printed this multicolored is i ran out of filament okay i got this little shroud here that sort of fits into the octaminer that way all the air comes out through here and i can kind of tighten up this gap because as you can see this picture window as i spoke about filled it in with foam board got the shrouds in place on the asics that way all the heat that comes out can't get back in except for this little spot here this room's completely sealed so the overwhelming majority of the heat is coming out through here and it's staying icy cold inside the mining room. So it's been a few days, we're up, very stable. Taking a look at my Hive OS here, got everything up and running. I know a lot of people mad at Hive OS right now because they recently changed their pricing model and now you only get two free workers and you have to pay like three bucks a month for a GPU mining rig. And I get it, if you have a smaller operation or expensive power and you can't swing that amount of money per month, I understand completely there are other options out there. The Hive OS is a premium product. It's feature rich. Uh, they have an app on the phone. You can control things remotely. And if you wanna give all that up in lieu of uh, saving the $3 per month, uh, then only you can make that determination. But for me, this is worth every penny. Furthermore, you're using Hive OS to generate money. So there's gonna be a cost associated with that. I can understand that this was like, you know, your food costs or your rent or something like that. You're using this software to generate money. So, you know, three bucks a month versus what you can get out of it, it's well worth it. For me, my opinion, only you can make that determination. Taking a look here at the rig. Get our 64070s up and the 3080 Ti is still in there. I'm not sure if it'll stay in there, but for right now, it's in there. My hash rate on Kapow is more than doubled. So last I was running just the three cards, I was just a touch over 100 mega hash on Kapow, now running at about 240, 243 uh, as here as of recently. So more than doubling my hash rate. Let's take a look at the power. We've got all the 4070s running at this overclock variant. This was the one, I just pick it out of the presets because you know I can sit here and tinker with it and try to get it down. Uh, but another beauty, beautiful thing about Hive OS is that you can pick among presets that other people have put in and just kind of play with those. My benefit is I have six 4070s. I can put them all on a different overclock variant and kind of pick out the one that works best. So right now I'm getting just about 32 and a half mega hash per 4070 at 160 watts per card, fantastic. There are other more efficient cards, but again, I was looking for price versus performance. If you're just starting out and you're interested in getting Hive OS, I highly recommend it. It's super simple to uh, install, to use, it brings everything together. Link in the description below, use my link. I get some referral bonus or something like that out of it. But uh, even if I didn't, I would certainly recommend Hive OS versus anything else. So my plan with this GPU mining rig, again, I don't believe that GPU mining rigs uh, really follow the ROI model. If you saw my ROI video, uh, this is mostly 100% as a speculative mining rig, just with more power. So that way, if a new coin launches, a coin goes down in difficulty, or there's anything else that I wanna target with the rig, I have that much more power behind it to where I can accumulate a higher yield of those coins. Now that's a big gamble because the overall cost for this rig was in the thousands of dollars and I could have put that money towards an ASIC which was gonna guarantee me better returns, uh, but I wanna stay diverse in my mining operations. Having the ASICs for the guaranteed returns and then also having GPUs, CPUs, et cetera, uh, for some of those more speculative plays, going after coins that could have that 10, 100,000 million X factor to where I can mine a whole bunch of them and maybe in the future be on a yacht in Dubai with Instagram models or something. What? I'm supposed to want a morally virtuous life? 
Uh, no. So was it a good idea to build a GPU mining rig in 2024? Remains to be seen. It's not like it once was, and again, I've been out of the game for a long time, but previously you built a GPU mining rig, you go and you mine Ethereum or whatever's profitable, and you're more so guaranteed, not guaranteed, but you're more so likely to have paid that rig off in a uh, reasonable amount of time. Now it's a much more speculative environment. You're going after coins that are you know, largely unproven. There's no big coin to run to. So you're gonna have to be smart in your plays. You're gonna have to focus on yield and other types of things. And you're maybe gonna have to ignore ROI just a little bit more or just come up with some other strategy along the way that allows you to recoup those costs. Personally, I think right now, as it stands right now, until something changes, GPU mining is as CPU mining was to GPU mining back in the day. So back when GPU mining was in its heyday, CPU mining was kind of looked at like, why are you doing that? There's really nothing to mine on CPUs. So now you have sort of the flip side of the coin, CPUs on top, ASICs on top always. Uh, but GPU mining, the P I, I look at it anyway as, well, it's a completely speculative play. But again, I'm trying to stay diverse in my mining operations so I can attack those coins when they come up. That's why I have GPUs, CPUs, ASICs, and hopefully something else here in the future, hard drive mining, other things like that. So if you wanna hear more about GPU mining, you wanna see more GPU mining builds, and you wanna see more detail about it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to make that content for you. And I'd also love to know what my audience, what their split is. If you're heavy in GPU mining, if you're heavy in ASIC, CPU, other things, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for more brilliant content like this. Otherwise, I'm The Technicals. See you next time.